It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve-O and this is Jen. We're a digital nomad couple from California. Today, we're heading west on a road trip in the French region of Brittany. We're going to try local delicacies, tour an impressive church, enjoy fine art in a historic art village, and get chased by angry geese. Do we survive? Let's find out. It's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> Today we're heading to Brittany. Well, actually, we're already in Brittany, but we are heading west to another part of Brittany. As you can see, Steve is driving. We've got a new scenario going on. France drives on the right, but the couple we're housing for are from England, where they drive on the left. So this is a right-hand drive car, and I'm driving on the right-hand side of the road. It somehow got even weirder. And it's so nice to be able to have access to cars. So many times when we pet sit, uh, we've been able to drive the owner's car. And that's just a really cool thing to be able to do. Meters. At the roundabout, take the second exit. It's just so awesome to be able to have a car and go adventuring. There are so many camper vans driving by. France is known for having really great camping. We'd love to do that because there are just so many beautiful places to go in France. We've just arrived in the city of Kemper, which looks like Quimper. How cool is this tree? Look at this right now. It's like grown into and wrapped around that. We're having ourselves a little picnic. Here's our picnic basket. Steve-O sandwich. Jen sandwich. And we got some apples and some carrots. Cute little area we found to sit next to some pretty houses. They got a great view. They had a good view, now they got a great view because we're here. I'm excited to explore, but more than anything, I'm hungry. So we put our picnic stuff back in the car and now we're walking down the road toward the middle of town. It's absolutely gorgeous out today. We decided to check out Kemper because it's the ancient capital of Brittany's most traditional region and it also has a distinctive character with Celtic influence. I love all these old wooden buildings. A lot of them are kind of tilty. <laughs> a little drunk. It's cool. We just walked into the halls here in Kemper. The halls are just basically a place where you can buy uh, lots of different fresh food, produce, seafood, meat, cheese, all kinds of stuff. Brittany is really well known for its seafood because it does have 1,700 kilometers of coastline. And Brittany is especially well known for oysters. We just got a mini Coogan Amman. I don't know if we're saying that right. We've only seen big sizes of these everywhere we've been and it seems ridiculous for us as two people to get those ones, but we had a mini one at this bakery here, so we're gonna try it out. And shout out to Tegan, who is a friend of steve from Manchester, another comedian. She told us about this because her grandma lives in Brittany, so she gave us some hot tips on things to eat. So we finally found one that's a reasonable size. It's just layers and layers like soaked in sugar, I guess. It's really good. It's like buttery, sugary. <laughs> it has all of the important food groups, butter, sugar, and bread. You can't go wrong. We just stumbled on this place, my son, George's Lark and all. All right, keep that bread out. They're a famous chocolate candy kind of shop, and um, Breton is known also for, because of the salty butter, um, for salty caramels. Kemper is known for these colorful timber-framed houses. You can find them all over the old town. As we were walking down that road, there was a bride and groom that came through. I don't know if they're getting married in this church, but what an incredible place to get married if they are. It's like a gorilla wedding shoot in front of the church here. They seem post-wedding happy yeah. as opposed to pre-wedding jitters. This is the Kemper Cathedral, which is also known as the Cathedral of St. Corentin and it's a Roman Catholic cathedral and also a national monument of Brittany in France. It was first opened in 1239. How it curves, like it curves off to the side. That's perfectly natural. <laughs> After 
were walking out of the church, we stumbled upon this giant outdoor flea market. Ah, up over here, there's this famous shop I saw in the guidebook. So French right now. Some people play air guitar. I play air accordion. You're really good at it. Can you even hear it? We're on the way back to the coche now. I don't know how to say car in French. Now we're back in the car, heading to Pont Avon. It's about half an hour from Kemper, and we figured it would be a nice place to go before heading back home because it's this little artist village that's on a river. It sounds really beautiful. So the robot is giving us directions. The robot is very helpful. She is very helpful because I already got us lost once. That was the robot's fault, I would say. That was definitely the robot's fault. And then I was like, I think I can read what the robot wants. Nobody knows what the robot wants. It's just so nice to be on about today. On such a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It rained just about every single day last week, so it just feels so good to have the sun on us. Pontavon is a beautiful little village that became famous because a group of artists flocked there, including Emile Bernard and Paul Gauguin. And lots of artists came there, including many American artists. They were collectively known as the Pontavon School. Today, there are still many artists that live and have their businesses in the city, and you can visit lots of art galleries, including an art museum. We just came out of the gallery behind us. Uh, we didn't film inside because that would not be appropriate, but the artist was lovely. The artist was in there, so we got to speak to her very briefly. Her English was better than her French. Always is. You have a chance and you come here, just pop into all these galleries because you might meet the artist and you <laughs> will see some interesting art. Sounds weird, but this is a specialty here, getting tinned fish. There's so many different kinds you can get here, like other fish, lobsters. You eat tuna. Yeah. What do you think about this place? It is cute as shit. It's honestly beautiful. I understand why artists want to live here. Yeah, absolutely. Very Ooh, clean. And now I smell fajitas. Oh, something smells really good. It smells exactly like a fajita's plate. It turns. really does. Oh my gosh, look at this up here. I'm joining the country club. <laughs> you do look very fancy. My monkey doesn't like this caviar. <laughs> Try to geese here. Those are nuts. All right, I'm moving. Why did they come up here? They're scaring these children. This lady's so brave. Did you stop her? Both cities we went today, we definitely could have used more time in. Uh, I can see why people just come to these cities and stay overnight and spend a couple days. We are taking the scenic route back toward home right now. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Really nice time of day with the sun starting to go down, getting a little lower with those cornfields. And uh, I just, I really love France. It's just a really pretty place to be. And we just feel so lucky to be experiencing parts of France that we might not have been to otherwise if we hadn't had the opportunity to house sit. If you're interested in house sitting, we've got a guide for you on how to set up your house sitting profile. And we've also made videos explaining more about how house sitting works. So we'll make sure to link those for you below. Hi, pretty girl. We have the queen of the barbecue. I love you, girl. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey of Brittany today. We had so much fun visiting Quimper, Kemper, and Pont Aven. And we hope you had a nice time joining us too and seeing a little bit of Brittany. This is a really beautiful part of France and we'd highly recommend a journey here if you come through. This little frog here says you should like and subscribe, so listen to the frog. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Blue.